Excellent. Welcome to International Tabletop Day. And we are playing Star Wars. Star Wars, Star Wars, Star Wars. And this music is totally not copyrighted. <laughs> it's nothing like the original thing. <laughs> it's totally different. Because of this chord. Oh, well, that's John Williams awesome. would have never thought of that chord. <laughs> well, he probably did, but just rejected it. <laughs> <laughs> and we are into it. We are doing a really fast game. That is the aim of this. Uh, we have about an hour and a half to be able to do the entire game in. Can we do it? We will find out. I'll try my best. Alrighty. I'm sure we won't waste any time by being funny. <laughs> We have um, two characters with us today. Do you want to do your quick intro? Who are you? I'm Vosh Tauri. Um, <laughs> I am a human male um, rebel engineer. I was the guy who set the Y Wings um, computer, navigational computer, for the um, attack on the first Death Star, which missed. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I, I haven't been able to live that one down. It was so um, bad, Luke had to turn it off because it was distracting. Yeah, uh, so basically, I, um, I, well, I, I, I was depressed. Moron. I've been very depressed from that, and uh, I really haven't got over it. Um, and yeah, every, everything's just you know, I'm just waiting for the waiting for people to just find out that that was me and the jokes and the it, it's terrible. It's okay. Mm. We're here for you. And we have um, Gathmosh Star Field 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 Field. field. Ooh, he's so field. I'm a uh, famous, well-known poster boy for the Empire, but I've become disenchanted with the Empire because it's all become hoods and helmets. And there's just no flowing hair anymore. <laughs> so I am, um, I'm, I'm a man of bold vanity and extraordinary, um, um, your, li denying. your line of hair care products just right, wasn't going well. That's right, so there you go. I have a small, um, R2 <laughs> droid with me called R2D9 originally. And, um, <laughs> he's tiny. He's tiny, right. isn't he? Tiny, that's right. He mainly, mainly is there to follow me around and offer compliments. Um, Gathros talks to him about himself in the third person as much as possible, and the droid offers hair care, hair, hair products wherever necessary. Absolutely, it's, it's you know it's got gel, a hair dryer, everything. That's right, absolutely, it's amazing. Excellent. Just All right. Some of my solo. You uh, you have been well. Solo. You have been lauded and and given honours for your last great adventure, where Ooh. you um, even though it's completely out of order, where you have destroyed a couple of Akats and saved a saved a rebel homeworld mm. outpost. Mm. Coming soon. Coming you soon too. after <laughs> this one. <laughs> <laughs> but um, it, you've risen in the in the ranks of the Rebel Alliance and have given a bit of a name to yourself. <laughs> How the, the social structure? Um, yes. Well, this mission perhaps will change change that for you. You'll become well respected. Chance for true fame. Recognition for my greatness. Probably not. You won't have to look behind you in the showers or anything like that <laughs> after this adventure. <laughs> Which is a common thing you have to do in the room. Yeah, right. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Keep the soap on a string. You have been sent <laughs> you've been sent down to Are we going there? <laughs> this early in the morning? We are. Yes we are. You have been sent down to the hangar bay for your mission and you have no idea where you are, where, what, what it is, but you know that you are in the Calamari sector mm -hmm. and that... Calamari sector. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <We're>, <laughs> Calamari is right next to the ship <laughs> sector. <laughs> <laughs> is it near the, uh, is it near the uh, asteroid I'm rings? I'm not fooled! <laughs> is it near the asteroid rings? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> the... You are down in there, you can see out of the giant hangar bay windows, you can see the, the beautiful organic, beautiful is my keyword today, mm -hmm. my, the beautiful organic Cal Mon Calamari ships, and they, as they float past each one, completely unique. And oh, you are in one Calamari, the guys who say, it's Mon a drop, it's no. a drop, it's a drop. Okay, yeah, yep, the Mon Calamari, and okay, you are down in the, in the hangar bay, and you can see that there, there's a massive fleet out the front and down here there is all number of X wings across the wall and Y wings and B wings and A wings and anything with a wing is oh. in this area. Okay, yeah, and they're all good ones, that's right. Yeah. These are all really good ones. And, there are, and they're, the area which you are sent to, which is Dock Bay, um, 94. 94. <laughs> it's, um, it has only Surprise. one single ship in there, and you can see that there is a giant cover over the ship, oh. and you have no idea what's underneath it. 
standing in front of the ship is a man in orange overalls and he looks like he's got one leg is a, is a bionic kind of stump of a leg cool. that's almost like pirate-like. In it. Oh, we're and going in a pirate? <laughs> <laughs> and there is a, there next to it is a droid R2 unit who, uh, who he's conversing with in beeps. He can speak? Beeps. I stride he's forward. speaking in beeps. I stride he's forward slightly in um, slow motion with my hair flowing in the wind. Which my droid is supplying if it isn't present. <laughs> I say, Gathrosh has arrived! Hey, without turning around. You're late. I know. <laughs> Gathrosh is never late! Gathrosh arrives exactly when he meant to. <laughs> <laughs> Not copyright. <laughs> <laughs> Original quote. <laughs> he turns around and you can see this grizzled rebel rebel officer standing there and he's got that kind of um, burnt side to half of his face and he's, this is a man who's seen combat. He um, sticks out his hand towards you. Jack Whistle. Uh, uh, please, Jack Whistle, please, please to make your request. <laughs> oh, excellent. Hi. Oh. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you? The name's Vosh. Just Vosh? Yeah, uh, Vosh Tyree. What kind of name is Vosh? <laughs> Would your mother give you that name? Yeah, she was pretty bad at naming. I can't believe they sent you two down here. <sighs> yeah. Probably. Aren't you believe your luck? Famous and lucky to be in the presence of Gathrosh and his trusty companion, Vosh. They tell me that you're a halfway decent pilot, is that right? <laughs> that was an excellent flying in my time. Looking at my skills, I don't think... Oh no, I'm awesome. I'm sure of that. We're looking for uh, two people to run a mission that requires a straightforward approach. You up for the task? Well, straightforward is our action. Taking down at and things like that. May as well. <laughs> well, as you, as you might know, it's Wednesday. <laughs> It's day three of the galactic calendar. As you might know, the fleet's been trapped here by those damn space stations. Yes. He pulls out a bottle of rock gut and swigs it down. Space stations. Away. They're pesky, those space stations. Yeah. Do you know about the space stations? Yeah, I do. Okay. No, we'll just pretend we do. You oh, say, on the space station, eh? <laughs> you hear everyone just see the bionic ears. I'm in the war. The clone. Oh. Yeah, that's right, Artu. <laughs> he um he pulls back the sheet on this ship, which must have been a pretty. And you effort. see, you see an Arc One Seventy. I'll show you a picture. <gasps> I know what that one 170 is. One Seventy, old Clone Wars oh. Starfighter. Cool. And it is. Yeah, that's all the pictures I've got of it. So it's yeah. like the old X-Wing. It's the old, the, the predecessor to the X-Wing, and this is a like heavy fighter. Miles. And if you want to make a, a roll on your, on your maybe piloting, to mm -hmm. see if you know much about... I'm sure I know everything about flying these. Such an excellent pilot that I am. Whoa! Yeah. Read it, whoa! Oh my that's gosh. an old, that's <laughs> an incredible roll. This is a good way to start the day. We have, let's see, a six, a six, a six. And a five, and a five, and a five. Well, I'll take that. Statistically, he I'm knows like, everything. I know everything actually, about his plane. He actually built this one. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is actually your father's <laughs> Arc oh. 170 that he flew in Clone Wars, and, um, and you have you have flown in this many times. I've done also fair few photo shoots sitting in the cockpit as well. So oh god! It's like <laughs> this is hanging from the <laughs> um, You may know that this is an Arc 170. I know this ship, man. I doubt that. I you weren't even born. This, my father flew this ship in the Clone Wars. That means I'm your father. <laughs> <laughs> and he didn't crash it many times at all. <laughs> you see, uh, uh, yeah, what you what you, you never you probably never expect to see on this face was a look of respect. Well, I don't need to tell you that uh, this is well, this was given to me by well, I wanted in a game of Sabak actually. You did. From a man who looks similar to you, actually, but his hair was more messed up. Yes, yes. My father never took proper care of his hair. I've, I've tried to encourage him to use hair products as much as possible, but he seems more focused on life issues. I just can't fathom myself. 
<laughs> Fallen in hard times. I think it's the rod started with letting his hair go. <laughs> it's a, it's me, a very, it's a very difficult life, is it, in your let, mind? Let me at her. <laughs> let, let me sit in, sit in it as soon as possible. What are we doing? We're blowing something up. Space stations. I need say. you to break through the blockade. Ah, with this one ship. In this one ship, they aren't expecting a single starfighter to get through. They're expecting an <laughs> entire Mon Calamari fleet. Yes, I can see. The reason why they don't expect that is because they can simply go. <laughs> the, the Empire, for some reason, doesn't expect single starfighters to be of much use. <laughs> but they always seem to be. <laughs> we need you to break through the blockade. There is a power generator on the planet of Rust. And on this, if you take that out, it will take down some of the orbital defenses and we will be able to get the Mon Calamari fleet out of the system and into a more effective range. What, what? what we hear is a new Death Star being oh. built. No, that's that impossible. The last one was blown up. Well, many, many bottom spies have brought us information. <laughs> have died. <laughs> to bring it to I don't need to tell you that they died. They should be more careful, those bottom spies. <laughs> Lemons. Also, the lunch menu. <laughs> many bottom spies. Oh, I've got a paper cut. <laughs> so we're unlikely to succeed. Well, you're an excellent pilot from what I hear. Yes. Why don't you give us a in, and This is a modified ARC 170. In the back are two speeder bikes. I need you to take these speeder bikes, get to the power generator, break, obviously the shield, the ARC 170 can't get through the shield, protecting the, the generator. So you get there as close as you can, then use the speeder bikes. There's demolitions in the back, blow up the power generator. Sounds fun. Let's right. go. Okay. Let's okay. Go. Good luck. Shakes your hands. Has everyone been informed about our uh, potential exploits? Well, Mon Mothma gave me this information personally. Excellent. And Ooh. the bottom spies are the ones that brought us this information, so it's incredibly reliable. <laughs> Excellent. So we so fly another yeah. starship while it's shooting laser guns at us, and we get through, and then we land on the moon? Right? On the planet of Rust. I hope someone paid attention. You recording this out too? Rust. 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 And, and, uh, and then blow up a shield generator. So well, that's all you need to do. Excellent. All right, you guys pile into the, into this beautiful ship. Now this Shotgun. ship normally has a rear <laughs> a rear laser cannon on the you know at the back where, where people fire out of. That has been replaced with a with a cargo hull, which has two the two um, speeder cool. bikes stuck into the back of it. And you guys pile in. There is a separate cockpit for the the laser fire, and there is the um the, the um piloting cockpit at the front. Ooh. And you guys, I pilot you shoot, and you punch. It. <laughs> this ship it feels like getting into an old pair of tights. I'm in jet pants. <laughs> G-string. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I slip in comfortably. <laughs> The, um, I don't need to tell you, this ship has that rumbling, I don't know if you remember from the movie, this rumbling sound that, um, it's that kind of B, the B-52 kind of... Yeah. Where's that sound, Ben? Yeah, that sound? <laughs> <laughs> it's coming, it's coming. <laughs> uh, and you, you punch it, and you head in there. Is there anything you want to do, actually, is there anything you want to do before you... I just want to give her a bit of a no, wiggle and check that she's working. Yeah, well. she, she's actually um, working probably as good as you remember. She's a little less mobile because of the, the rear compartment, but... Mm -hmm. With my skill, you know, knowing how to repair it, is there anything I can do to look at someone looking through the engine? You, know? mm -hmm. you can do a quick, you can do a quick look. He, um, Jack isn't that happy about it because he repaired it himself. So it's 20, that was 27. All right. Yes, um, yes, you can actually, um, you can actually do a little bit of work on it. Um, what are you wanting to do to it? I was, I'm, I was looking at more in terms of like the, the, looking at the hull, mm -hmm. and just seeing if they're, you know, making sure that the layer and all the wires were tucked in properly. And, okay, yeah. so, so okay, I'll give you, I'll give you an extra plus one team maneuverability. Yep, that's, woo. so four maneuverability. Yeah. So that's me, I get to run it down. All right. I've got it. You head off into it. Now, you, you punch into light speed, and you, and only about a couple of hours later, because it is actually quite close to this fleet, yeah. you drop out of light speed, and you see up ahead of you, you see these um, floating orbital orbital cannons mm. that, are, that are just facing, are like ringing around this planet. Oh. And squadrons of TIE fighters just flying past you. Okay. Straight towards this thing. Uh, Gatrosh has arrived! And you, yeah, unidentified craft. 
please state your nature and uh, nature of business. So I'm uh, busy trying to find the moon we're supposed to be going to. Yep. You can, no, it's a planet, and it's it's, a planet. you can see that they're ringing this planet. Just pointing at the planet or pointing, pointing at away, it? pointing towards you. Yeah, pointing at the planet. You know, you know the, you know the, <laughs> the blockade of coming. Naboo? The blockade of Naboo? Yes. That okay. is a similar, a similar picture, but these things are like orbital cannons floating in space, and cool. squadrons of, of TIE fighters flying past. You. We're, we're Please identify your nature of business. We're nature screwed. Of business. <laughs> I, uh, I uh, hit the, um, the, 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 the the communications button has a special button next to it which actually sends a static burst. Through. Well, you've got jammers on the front yeah, of your ship. Jammers, that's right. So, um, which is actually part of the Arc 170 has special yes. jammers on there. Excellent. Yeah, so you said it. And so you I'm going to activate the jammers and try and talk over the top of the jammers. So it looks like my signal's breaking up for some reason. Yeah, you can. Oh, <laughs> Like that. And I just look out the window and go, that's not a TIE fighter. <laughs> <laughs> that's a space station. No, <laughs> 70, we used to fly that. <laughs> you, yeah, it works for a little while, and then yeah. you see the squadron of TIE fighters break off and just start coming towards you. At the front is an interceptor, which uh, which sort of leads the leads a pack of four others behind. Uh, it's like going into like a, 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 like a, a, I'm going to go into like a sort of a sideways slide and a bit of a death spiral as if I'm sort of out of control or something like that. And you, do you bring your S-foils open? Yes. You open your S-foils? Yeah, yes. 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 Set S-foils to attack position. To attack. <laughs> they open up. And if I can like make it smoke somehow, that would be great too. To make it smoke? I look like a wounded deer. Well, can't your R2 unit who's in the side start Spraying hair products in the air? Yeah, yeah, yes! Yes, my R2 is yeah, just plugged in. in the back, yeah? yeah, he's gonna spray some hairspray. Some hairspray? <laughs> to create a... And then light it so <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. in the oxygen as it, as it, of the right. space. Right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> awesome. Excellent. Well, Sam can carry. Surely there's oxygen yeah, in space. Right, yeah. And what they do, they, well, they have this atmosphere. No, so that's the way they fly. Absolutely. You can actually fire a bullet from a gun in space because yeah. of the oxygen particles in the air. Yeah, so. You can make smoke in space. Yeah, it sounds it's great. Yeah, uh, excellent. All right, smoke starts pouring it. Uh, uh, yeah, that's right. Uh, and I'm sort of slipping uh, sideways and slowly, slowly spiraling towards the planet as if I'm going to crash into it. All right, um, a warning shot goes across your bow. I I I unhook the uh, jamming just for a moment. I say, Oh, good fair, Please don't shoot us. We're in bad enough trouble. I'm attempting orbital uh, uh, atmospheric uh, entry to the safe landing. Please send them for crew. Make a roll. <laughs> I'm con. Con. Good thing I've got two D in con. <laughs> <laughs> I'm definitely the right man to have on this. Uh, this seven. Oh, eight. 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 Uh, All right. It's um, my flying. I'm using my flying to contribute to my con. No. <laughs> the, you see the um, the, the uh, interceptor starts firing. Uh, is is going to fire towards. Okay, you. I'm going to hit the guns. You hit the guns. All right, you you um, yeah. You're you're heading you're heading down. They're coming behind you. So Ben's going to have to do some kind of flip around to get to get to position. I'm ready. There are other Tie Fighters squads coming. Converging, they won't be here yet. So, so in, in in normal physics, you can sort of accelerate and then turn around and go back. But in Star Wars, so physics, Star Wars is you like have to do like a yeah, right. yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly. Okay. Yeah. So, what are you going to do? I'm going. So, there's lots of X wings. There's lots of Tie Fighters behind. Lots it's kind of converging on your area. You need to punch through the blockade, and you've got a squadron behind you. And he can't fire backwards. He can't fire backwards because of the modified. Who's that? Shit. <laughs> I'd say we just fly a diversion for the moment, yeah. I'm, I'm pretty yeah, confident yeah. in my part of this, because maybe we can manage the shield. Oh, yeah, the yeah, yeah, power I'll divert all power to the shields. And I'll just divert all power to the shields. Divert yeah. all power to the... Divert all power to the... Divert all power to the... Divert all power to the... Alright, the first guy fires down towards you, Ben, and you are going to try and dodge, yes. or you're going to try and use the shields first, and then shields? you're going to... Yeah, I'm dodging all the time. Alrighty. My flying is completely dodging. Alright, so now they are at medium range. So their diffs are 15. Yep, yeah, he hit. He did, he hit. Um, shield. So 14, 16, 17, 18, 19. He hit. Um, shields are at 15 stiff. What'd you get? Uh, oh yeah, I got more than 15. Okay, right, cool. So you can add your shield. So Ben, you're going to dodge. Are you dodging? Yes. Alright, go for it. So you get to add. So what's my. You're what piloting. Do I you're piloting. You're piloting plus your maneuverability. Yep. Yeah. Good. I forgot that. Well, that's a whole shitload of dice. Oh, with a whole lot of ones! Oh my god! 
So the five, yeah, and then a two, yep. and then a one, right. and then a one, and then a one, and then a one, and then a one. You spiral, and you, and the, the laser fire cuts between the S foils, and you, and as you nimbly dodge out of the way, oh. the other Tie Fighters um, fire down towards you. Um, remember what you rolled. Okay, the actual number. Yep. You don't need to roll again, Nathan. Oh, good. You can just leave, just leave that. Um, What'd you get then? What was your fall up? Uh, so two, four, six, eight, uh, thirteen. All right, cool. The other one. Oh, oh big hit. Twelve. Um, what am I doing? Twelve, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. You roll more than five, so you're okay. There's no way they're going to be able to hit you unless they roll incredibly well. Like that. No, no. All right. Yes, you dodge out of the way of, of, of these so guys. So inside the coffee, they poof, poof, as I said. Oh, <laughs> and you head towards it. The yep. big, the big cannons start to shift, and you see one just get us. Just, they're just, they're and it done. fires across, and you, you can almost feel you feel the vibration of the yeah, right. laser fire <laughs> <pass> through. <laughs> but these things, these things are you know the ones on the, when they go in towards the um, on the Death Star, those big turrets yeah, yeah, on the top yeah. of that. That's what it's like. Going through. But they're not designed to shoot this. No, 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 exactly. This is the floor in every player <laughs> player ever does. Alright, you, you punch through. Uh, what are you gonna Woo! do? You can imagine them. I'm the gonna music. go, Wahoo! I'm with you, Daddy! You, you're gonna, gonna dodge and go around? And, and land. Are you gonna try and get through the you're gonna head straight for the yeah, plane? Okay, yeah. cool. You see um, another squadron comes in comes in front. At the front? Excellent, it's only gonna yeah. shoot at. There is a interceptor. At the front, with um, two Tie Fighters behind. So, so I add my stuff, star, yeah. Starship <laughs> Gunnery I'll with them with, um, the fire control. Is that it? Yeah, and you are uh, at the long range at this moment. So you're dips twenty, and you're firing the interceptor. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. So that's ten, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-five, twenty-eight. Wow, you're good. At that. Alright. This is why you're firing and I'm piloting. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, it's a bad roll. Ooh. Six, ten. The team half? Hey. No, he, um, yeah, he dodges out of the interceptor, dodges out of the way. You're only firing once, is that right? Ooh. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah, four, two, he, he fires back, the interceptor fires back at you. How much do I need to hit him? Um, you need it because he dodged. He had eight, he needs to be eight to get out of your way because there's a D20 uh, in the range. But as we get closer, that will be, you'll be easier to hit. Oh, yeah. um, are you going to try and dodge out of the way or are you just going to let it happen? Because yes, I'm going to have a D20. So yeah. the chance of actually getting hit is actually better. So. Yes, yeah, so I'll dodge. Yeah, I'm going to Okay, cool. Alright, are you going to kill? Yeah. He misses? Excellent. Okay, keep, keep that dice roll, Ben. And he misses two. 27. And this guy. Misses two. God, I'm rolling bad. Excellent. Alright. The Woo! distance is closing. You're now at medium range. And you open fire. You're going to split your dice across it. Yeah. Oh, no. cool. So I got five is standard. Then I, I'll shoot three times. Yeah. Right. Five is standard. So you diff 15. And. Six, ten, yeah, fifteen. He's not he's not dodging on this one because he wants to fire back with yep. his dice. So you you oh fifteen? You yeah. hit. Roll your damage. Woo! Yeah. Your fire hits across damage the solar, the the solar panels. 60. 60 ahead. Hubble, hubble, hubble. <laughs> Whoa, that's not too good, but it's not oh, too good. good. Alright, seven, eight. Um, we got seven, eight, nine, ten. That's ten. 16, sorry, that's, sorry, that's 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 20, 20. 20. double. It, yeah. You see it explode and the two solar panels just um, get ripped off the, the side oh. of it and the thing just spirals. I love how energy conscious they are. Yeah, the yeah. Solar it's, <laughs> I know. In this kind of day and age, it's important. That's why I'm actually for the Empire, because they're, yeah, they're green. Awesome. They're green. Awesome. All right, um, the others are going to fire back at you. At me? At, at you guys. Ah! Hang on. Six, seven, eight. Shield. Shield. Eight. Um, 14. My dodge is like 27. Alright, yeah. 
Yeah, the fire just goes all around you. There's no way they're going to be able to hit you at 27s. <laughs> Not with that there. <laughs> no, no way that they're going to hit you at all. Um, however, the interceptor behind you is closing. Excellent. Alright. Second one, you're into short range now. Oh. Woo. Time to annihilate. Punch it! Now, Ben, you can either boost or you, you can split your dice, try and do manipulate and speed. Which one do you want to do? Because the interceptor behind you is catching speed. up. Speed. Alright, so um, you're going to split your dice and do and try and be fast and maneuverable? Yes. Okay, cool. Do you want to make a speed roll for me first before we do anything else? So it's 2D, but I add that to my part of the skill, is that right? Sorry? I, I add to my part of the skill. Sorry, I didn't give you your sub light speed, did I? It says speed 2D. Okay, oh, cool. Yep, so you're going to roll your 2D for your speed, and Just the interceptor 2D. is going to try and cut up to you. Six. I believe it is. Actually, no, add your piloting. I bought this. Add your piloting. A whole lot more. Oh, yeah, yeah. 24! Okay, he, the interceptor is right behind you now. Does he overtake he, us? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh! 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 Alright, you're going to fire first. You're firing at the interceptor who's now at short range. Your diff is 10. So I'm going to split he is it going up. To, he's going to try and dodge himself. Yeah, I'm splitting it up. I'm shooting four times. Alright, go for it. That's smart, is it? Five, fifteen, twenty, twenty-nine, twenty-nine. 15. 15. 15. Yeah, he dodges out of the way and weaves around you. Alright. I get four shots in the gun. Yeah, yeah. So this is the entire round that you get in the game. Alright, so... Um, yeah, cool. Okay. Now, the guy behind you is now at short range. Are you going to shield and maneuverability? Are you, you going to dodge out of the way? Yes. Alright. Yeah. He's right behind you. So my... Here, I'll shield first. One, two, three. So you're at you're at diff um, diff twenty. There's yes. Yeah. Ten. Woo! Yeah. Nine. Do you, you got twenty? Yeah. Okay, cool. So you can add your shields to your um, if, this you, if, if you if you don't dodge. So so um, ten fifteen. I'm still dodging. Yeah. So I, I was planning to dodge, wasn't I? Because I was with my dice. Yeah. You need to be eighteen to dodge. Oh yes, easy, easy. 20, easy. 27. Awesome, okay. Um, right, the other guy, the other time fighter at you, at you guys, keep you remember your dice roll. Hits. Um, what'd you get? 27. 27, 27, 37, 12. Yep, not enough. Excellent. Woo. And, um, yeah, you are... Shields are awesome. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you are firing back. Yes, I am. Okay, this guy is... They're gonna crash head on. Can I maneuver so that they crash head on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You spiral towards him. Mm. So if this shot misses, there is a real chance. Do you that really? You're gonna. Well, get I got, I got two more shots, so I got four. I split four ways. Mm -hmm. Oh, yep. yeah. You're gonna, be, you're gonna be twenties. No, fifteen. I know, but he's he dodged. So he adds his maneuverability to your to your off. No. Yep, got it. Oh no, that's 10, 16, 18. Alright, I'm, yeah. um, I'm gonna get you to roll your hull and yep. he's gonna roll, he, and I, I'm gonna do it against um, a damage roll <gasps> of his speed. Oh, yeah. Hull? Hull. Plus shield? Um, no, because your shields were deflecting behind you yep. to stop that shield shot. 17. Oh, plus oh. it doesn't actually, shields don't really work against slow. Oh, I don't know. How much? 17. Oh, yeah. Oh, nice. Excellent. Okay, yeah, so you you are okay. <laughs> Let's find out if he is okay. Ben, can you roll your um, your speed versus his um, hull? Speed and piloting. Speed no, and not, piloting. Not, not plus, no, not, not plus anything. Just speed. So, is that plus something, Ben? No. Yeah, cool. So, just your speed? Eight. No, he doesn't have a very good hull, but we'll find out. Oh, you both get it. I oh, know. Yeah, you both get away with it. Okay. Yeah. All right. So you're. So we're more like. 
Yeah, you are. All right, yeah, we really are spiraling out of you are, you are past that group. You've got a you've got a tiny interceptor on your tail as you head past the the, uh, the barrage yeah. of lasers. So there's one planet. And down there, and he is following behind you. He's okay. very close to you, so you can't. It's gonna be hard to throw him off. Yeah. So I'm gonna flip and let you shoot. Oh, it's just slow down. Yeah, pull on the handbrake. Right, so don't move my puppet toward me! As you hit the atmosphere, you're going to hit the handbrake, yeah, you're going to yeah, hit the air brakes, essentially. Yeah, yeah. Awesome, okay. I'm going to get you to make a maneuverability roll to see if you can do that. And so that's just one die, then? With no, you know, add your piloting to it, because this is a tricky maneuver. And I'm going to give you diffs of 20 yep. to, to pull this off without getting into a spiral, essentially. I've got plenty of it. Atmosphere to pull through the cover. Ready, dip 20, dip 20, dip 20. Oh, oh sweet. Smash Very it. easy. Smash. All right, yeah, you need four of those. He is going to try and match you. 29. He's going to try and match you on his. Um, so now we're like. Whoa, whoa. Oh, he did really well too. He hit it too. All right, he is on your tail and manages to break with you. Okay. All right, so he's going to take a shot off you, Ben. Uh, you're going to, so you're going to do your. Yep, surely. All right, Ben, if you want to do any maneuverability, take a. Do it. No, I just have a shield too. Okay, cool. Right, we don't need to shift them much longer anyway. 12. Alright. That's why I like it. 22. 21. Um, Alright, what did you roll? Your diff 20. 22. So you succeeded. Alright, add your shields to your hull as, you, Sorry. And as, as he hits. 60. So he's um, firing. What's his damage on this? Ha! I spit in the face of your 18. Oh no! 10, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Alright. He um he hits and you see you see the shields along which just ripple and short out. The shields are gone. The shields are gone. No, the shields <laughs> lose one D, but I'm not but you've only got two D, is that right? Yeah, the shields. That's right, yeah. yeah, so you've lost a D off yours. Um, okay. and you are also unable to no, you're okay. You, you've sort of controlled the ship. All right. Does the, does the panel go? You're gonna try. Whoa. You're gonna try and do anything fancy. Yeah, you see yep. a really lightning ripple across. I'm gonna try and flip backwards. So just just go flump and keep and fall down. Yeah. All right. So you're gonna lose control of the craft yeah. in a sense yeah. to yeah. get a, to get That's a single right. shot off. That's right. Yeah. All right. Make a manipulator roll. I'll give you just twenty. Because I'm awesome. No. Try and flip it, but the the turbulence in this area just knock it out of the way, and you lose control of the craft um, as it goes through. He's going to fire again. It's been nice knowing you. Try and, try <laughs> <and shield. laughs> you, got, you can use your shield, so I can use it with so yep, lose your, your one deep is twenty. So five five D plus one D for shields. Yep, go okay, for it. Make a roll. Did you make twenty? Looks like you probably did with that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Boom, yep. boom. Yeah. All right. Um, He's gonna fire. He hits, and um, and so ben, plus shield plus one D for shield. Oh no! Oh my gosh! It's a good way of keeping the game yeah. short. <laughs> All right. Seventeen. What'd you get? Okay. Yeah. You um. You see the ship. It just the engines just. Our ship. And you're <laughs> high five. Alright, um, I'm gonna get him to make a, I for an ocean. I'm gonna make an exception roll to see if he thinks that you are taking out. Yeah. Oh, not good. 14 and 15. So he he starts to pull back. And um because he thinks that you are taking out. Woo! Your ship is just basically you you are, you are blasted against the wall. Ah! Can I? 25 then to see if you can if you can bring this craft back under control. Little does he know a star field. Unless can you I, want to leave it for can a while. Can I, um, can I do Starship Repair on any of the... Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, you want to start, you can start doing that, and um, I'll get you, I'll, so take, I'll take, take five off, off Ben's difficulty if you can succeed in your Starship Repairs role. Okay. Help us pull it out! Bash, bash, do something! So, A Starfield will not die in a noble death. Um, yeah, so 20... Yeah, 20 was a dip. Alright, you you madly start rerouting power to, to different, different sections of <laughs> the engine. <laughs> the, the hair drying R2 unit is pretty useless right. at this moment. <laughs> <laughs> the, hair, the hair spray flying out. Going on up on the side of his hair spray, just <laughs> dripping off the side. Yeah. It's just let loose all its hair spray. <laughs> diff, is, diff is 25 then. Oh no, it's a 20 because it's knocked 5 off it. 
do his 20 to get this ship. So the average roll on this is his 21. So I can score average or above, then I'm fine. Ooh, 10. 20. Did you 20. <laughs> <laughs> I'm an average kind of guy, I know I know. Wrenching the controls around, you managed to stop the arc on so many um, from spiraling out of control and you now bring it into into um, into control just in time and you touch this the, the trees at the bottom to scraping across the hull and you bring it down into a clearing with a <laughs> Another happy landing. I'm just like, oh I didn't die. <laughs> oh well, next time. Oh well. You um, pop the pop the hood on the on the cockpit and um, jump nimbly out of it, drenched Ooh. in sweat and with hairspray sticking to the side of the hull. Your um, your R two <laughs> unit, the R two unit shattered, sort of just <laughs> pops out and slut hits the ground oh, head first. Starfield did very well today, sir. That's my R two unit. He can speak, honey. Yeah. I'm sorry, sir. The hairspray didn't seem to have any effect on the, on the <laughs> control starfield. That's all right. I was in control. Starfield was in control. Young droid. Yeah. Okay. Thank you for your assistance, Wash. You were a good man in a tight spot. I'm always good in a tight it's better spot. Better than a tight man in a good spot. All right. I'm gonna get you to make perception rolls. Yes. Perception yes. rolls. Do I notice the forest? You are. You are. You are surrounded. No. <laughs> Five. Uh, what's that? Nine. You did this ten. Yep. Oh, and into the two. Okay, you look up and you see that the Italian interceptor is um, he he is heading back towards the planet. Oh, you've got two speeder bikes. You've got you've got your ship, which yeah it looks pretty beaten up at this stage, but you can repair it later. Is, is there much foliage? And stuff? There is trees. There are trees everywhere. It's not like Endor. The trees aren't giant, but there are trees here. Smoke it. Just I get I jump in smoke somehow. I jump in the pilot seat yeah. and fire a proton torpedo into a large. You fire it into the trees. Into yes. the trees to right. smoke. <laughs> the giant explosion and the whole and the forest starts to catch on fire. And just there's smoke everywhere. going there's up. Smoke everywhere. Yeah. Yep. That's what we needed to do. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. There's smoke everywhere. Um, the tiny interceptor um, flies through and um, yeah, you can see it, it does it does a sweep and keeps going. You guys are in the trees or something. Yeah, yeah, we hide. <laughs> Alright. It's very hot here now! <laughs> Quick! To the speed bikes! We must get to the shield generator or whatever they're supposed to be destroyed. My shield is so sensitive. <laughs> <laughs> this is drying my hair terribly. <laughs> the um, R2 unit pops the, pops the cargo hull and you see two, um, two speeder bikes slide out. Oh. Is one much more impressive than the other? Um, sure. <laughs> <laughs> I take the what, one. Looks on. like it. One is your father's speeder bike. Ah, how about that? And it is shiny and, and sleek. We run together. And and to and like, like, um, like Harry and Sam trying to grab the potions. Oh, yeah, I, 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 I honestly just go for the um, for the old one. Yeah. yeah, I'm not worth the new one. Well, no, my father's the one's the old one, presumably. The one that no, your father's is the sleek. Nice, nice looking one, and yours I is the chunky one, is that right? They have yeah. the, it's all cosmetic, but you know. <laughs> I, I try to walk towards it as fast as possible while still looking like I'm in slow motion. <laughs> I just get to my one and see if there's anything that needs fixing. Yeah, you brush the cobwebs off yours, um, and yours yours is very shiny, so it hurts your eyes. And you jump on, and you're about to head off, and I'll take a quick break just there. Fabulous. And then we'll jump back wow. into the next section. Great work. <laughs>